uh, so I've played around with um, with sampling from from art history or events, you know, or not just limiting it to the world of painting, but you know, maybe like film or um, music, even sometimes, or you know, certainly cultural events. <laughs> always drew and and made paintings and went to school for painting and um, and uh, I, I made a lot of figure paintings before, you know very traditional and then I kind of really quickly just abandoned all that because I didn't ultimately I didn't find any meaning in anything I was doing I created a, a process that that would allow me to um, control the paint, control paint in a in a way that that is unusual, and um, and it it has ended it's ended up uh, um, once everything gets put together, the aesthetics of it is, is is its own its own object. When I originally started making these things, I was not interested at all in 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 the mechanics of a painting, or where they where they fall in relationship to other people's paintings, uh, and that kind of thing, and so I really kind of dove off, took my little way of working, and moved off into um, some kind of you know relative obscurity with subject matter. The way I paint uh, definitely lends itself to. A, uh, you know, a, a, this kind of continuum, you know, it's kind of obvious, you know, from the general aesthetics of, of everything, you know, that they all kind of fit together. It's almost like a sampling sometimes of, of things to, you know, or I think artists take, take from older ideas of paintings, you know, like you, I think, you know, it's really common to, to go into a gallery and look around and you see like, oh, you know, that's like a Augustine move or, or something like that, you know. Like I think Gustin would have done that. You know, you see you see little parts here and there of uh, of uh, an artist's work. Uh, you know, the, of something maybe familiar that you've seen in another another piece. Uh, you know, throughout art history. You know, and, and uh, even just like a little mark or you know subject matter or anything. And um, you know, I I think I mean it's obvious that. You know, artists are looking more and more into art history uh, more than they, I think they ever have in a different way uh, than they had over the last hundred years. And to think about making a painting now, uh, you know, in our time, and and what kind of image you want to create on a on a canvas or a panel, and then going back and looking at Manet or something or or. Kooning or something like that. What must have been going through their head when they were making their paintings? Uh, it's, uh, it's interesting to think about the like sampling of older uh, kind of older art within the work of, of my my new paintings. You know, it's just kind of a very playful way of of it, interacting with art history. Got to the Koonings and an Alice Neal. Got to be Coonings and an Alice Neal. And I've really just been kind of playing with it and, you know, taking other, you know, almost like you're collaging out of a magazine, kind of taking art from from the past and kind of regurgitating it in my own style and, and moving it around and collaging it together. Well, I'm not really sure I like the word recontextualizing, like, but... Uh, you know, just rearranging them in some kind of intuitive way. And they're all kind of like zombie um, ex-cons uh, that have escaped, but except their their Guernica uh, Picasso's Guernica faces. It's just such a part of our of our society to you know kind of tell the same stories over and over again, or. Um, or uh, this, have the same image pop up, you know, as meaningful. And what about the meaning of that, of the repetition of, the, of an image or a story? Uh, what is that, what, you know, 
what is the meaning in that, and then what is the meaning in how it, it's different way it's retold or shown uh, is, is interesting to me. My wife and I were thinking a lot about, uh, about you know, the, the Van Gogh's story, and then we were watching um, Blue Velvet, and, and then, you know, all of a sudden, you know, in this field of grass, um, Kyle McLaughlin comes along and, and there's, you know, an ear in the ground. I, we had the idea of, um, of, make, of kind of recreating a, almost a Van Gogh sky and landscape and, you know, all his flowers and the birds and everything. It's the artwork, but also the personal story of the artist and coming along, you know, a hundred years later or however many years later and then there's a movie that's not necessarily referencing that thing, but as a viewer, I look at it and see a connection. And the historical events, I feel like they're a reference point, just like another artist's work is a reference point. Everything you perceive in life, you know, starts coming together and you find strange interactions with, you know, this event with that event or this event with that image. and. And what I try to do is kind of try, you know, I, uh, I like to explore the, the nexus of like, you know, why this image juxtaposed with them, this image or how they're interacting in a, in, a, in a painting or sculpture or something is meaningful. And, uh, you know, often it's the, just the intuitive way the images come together and interact on a canvas um, and all, a lot of times that is that's an image that we may have seen before in interacting within a historical event we're familiar with or something like that and so how the interaction of those two things come together is um, is kind of what comes out I definitely use my Everything I've learned in music, I think, to to influence my the way I paint, and certainly just you know as a sense of rhythm or, or anything. I you know the way I compose, you know, my paintings are really like big collages. So it's you know the way I, I move the pieces around on the the surface of a of a panel really really kind of feels like I'm making music almost that way. And, and you know, a while ago, a lot of the subject matter of uh, kind of early American uh, music was, was really prevalent in my work. Any, any artist that has a, an intuitive way of working with, with their process, which is unique to them in some way, and they, they have, uh, there's, a, there's a tension or a relationship between the, the uh, subject matter and their, their process. You know, or, even some kind of, uh, you know, in music, I, I look at that, that a lot. Fred Thomas Selly has a unique way of collaging and and uh, and uh, submerging all his collages and you know his goop and and you know that's kind of unique to him. I've tried to to um, think about all the little pieces of art history and and life experience of. Of different histories and and you know what makes sense to me in my brain is coming together and 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 some kind of nexus of uh, experience and you know trying to make an image about how to do that, trying to reconcile a bit more with with my work being a, a painting and and having it function as an object of the painting world, and and so I've tried to re-engage with how I think about painting history. But now I think I'm kind of I'm starting to come back and kind of accept that what I do is very much a painting. <laughs>